Word magic. How words can be used as magic spells. Words are not just elements of speech or writing, because they can be used to strengthen the effects of magic, which is the art of directing and controlling energy. When spoken out loud, words transform into frequencies and vibrations that could be used to direct energy. This is one of the first steps to creating magic effects. Most people will laugh at the idea of magic being real, but only if they knew what magic really is and how magic is being used to control them. They wouldn't be laughing then, would they? The world is dominated by magic. Until you train your eyes to see how magic is used to control you, you will never know how the world really works. The controllers who pull the strings of politicians are well aware of how magic works. Many of them actually practice the art of magic, which is why they are sometimes referred to as the dark magicians. Unfortunately, they like to use magic for power and evil purposes, instead of using it to change the world into a better place. The most powerful thing in the universe is energy. If you learn how to control and direct this energy, you will become one of the most powerful people on earth. Why do you think the controllers, the dark magicians, are so obsessed with magic and energy? What is the definition of magic? Here is an excerpt from the book titled Word Magic The Powers and Occult Definition of Words that explains what magic is. The word magic is derived from the old French word. Magic, Latin magicus, and Greek magicos. One of the earliest definitions of magic is the art of influencing events and producing marvels using hidden natural forces. Magic has a strong relation with magnetic and electrical energy. Did you not notice that the word magnetic has the word magic in it? Take out net and magnetic and you are left with the word magic. The art of magic is often practicing along with certain words and sacred geometries. The common words that are used in magic rituals are the words that produce powerful sound tones when spoken out loud. These sound tones have powerful vibrational patterns which are used to direct and control energy and harness its power. Sound is able to direct energy for the reason that it carries certain frequency patterns that attract energy to flow in a controllable manner. Furthermore, sound is one of the natural forces used by nature to create crystalline structures and sacred geometries, which are some of the building blocks of matter. Power of Words Once you know how words, along with sound, can be used to direct energy to produce magic effects, you will know that words could be as powerful or even more powerful than swords. When you move the letters around in words to the front, you get sword. This is not an accident. Nearly all words in the English language are carefully designed and put together in a way that produces magic effects so that the creators the dark magicians of these words can trick you into playing their con game. Is this hard for you to believe? Are light bulbs flashing like crazy on your head right now? If not, you still have a lot to learn, because you do not even realize that you have been slaved. Maybe this quote from the Matrix could help wake you up. Morpheus, the matrix is everywhere, 
It is all around us. Even now in this very room. You could see it when you look outside your window or when you turn on your television. You could feel it when you go for a walk, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Neil, what truth? Morpheus, that you are a slave, Neil. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch, a prison for your mind. The Matrix is not just a movie. It was an experiment done by the dark magicians to see how people would react to a movie that was telling them the truth in a metamorphical kind of way. The dark magicians like to tell you what they are doing to you or planning to do to you in movies and in TV shows. The binding powers of words and contracts. Another word that they like to use into playing their con game is contract. When you separate contract in half, you get con and tract. As a verb, the word con is defined as a swindle or trick. As a noun, the word tract is defined as a brief treatise or pamphlet for general distribution based on the two definitions. When you put con and tract together, you get a deceptive treatise or a treatise full of trickery. When you sign a contract with a corporation or the government, you are agreeing to a fraudulent and deceptive treatise. In other words, you are being conned. The good news is that pretty much all the contracts you made with corporations and governments and government agencies are fraudulent since they do not come with full disclosure. How to decipher words to find their deeper meanings and intent. If all you do is look at the common definition of a word, you will never know the deeper meaning of it. To find its deeper meanings, you need to look below its surface, dissect its layers, and look at it from many different angles. This means that you may need to use an etymology dictionary to find the origins of the word. Split and rearrange the word using the art of anagram. Once you find the origins of a word, dissect its layers and look at it from many different angles. The true intent and meanings of the word magically become noticeable inside your mind. So next time you look up a definition of a word, do not only look at its face value, but also look at its origins, prefix and suffix. How words could be used as magic spells. When you speak words, you are casting your thoughts and vibrations into the Earth's magnetic field, or magic field, which is the energy field that creates the reality of Earth. If you are not careful and say certain words together, you can actually cast a spell without even being aware of it. Have you ever wondered why one of the first things they teach you to do in school is how to spell? When you go to school for the first time in your life, you were taught the alphabet, which is made of letters that are designed using sacred geometry. These letters are ideograms, which are written symbols that represent ideas. One very important thing you need to know about all written symbols is that they are created into existence from the egg, the dot, and the serpent, the line. The egg and the serpent are important symbols in the religion of secret society. After learning the alphabet, you are taught how to spell using letters of the alphabet. This is to prepare you for the day you could cast magic spells through the use of spelling. 
Did you notice that magic spell and spelling have the word spell in them? This is no accident. It is right in your face. The hidden intent of spelling is to cast magic spells. Most people are too ignorant, lacking in knowledge, so that they have no idea what they are actually doing when they yell harsh words at one another, using swear words or curse words. They did not call them curse words for no reason. Are you starting to see the big picture yet? Why do you think most parents tell their kids to stop cursing when they use swear words too much, even at a subconscious level? We intuitively know that it is not good to use curse words too much. Maybe next time we should listen to our intuition and do some research to find out why we feel that way. The main reason why they teach you how to spell words correctly is to make sure that each letter or geometry is arranged the same way every time you write something. This will help you strengthen the effects of certain words. After learning how to spell words, you are taught to cast those spellings into sentences, phrases, and ideas without teaching you about their magic effects. The purpose of this is to prevent you from knowing the true intention of language so that the dark magicians can control your mind using magic spells. Their magic spells cannot control 100% of your mind but they do affect your mind more than you realize. Just like how subliminal messages can affect your subconscious to a large degree. By now, you should know what I mean when I said earlier that nearly all words in the English language are carefully designed and put together by the minions of the controllers, the dark magicians, to trick you into playing their con game. Most other languages are also created for this purpose. How to protect your mind from spells of the dark magicians. One of the most effective ways to protect your mind from magic spells is to become more aware of them and how they are being used to control you. For example, when a magician does a magic trick, the magician can fool you into believing that the trick is real. However, if you figure out how the trick is done, you can no longer be fooled because you know it is an illusion. In other words, you have become aware of the trick and it cannot deceive you anymore. The magic trick example is similar to how dark magicians are using real magic spells to control your mind. Once you realize that magic is real and become aware of how dark magicians are using magic spells to control you, then their magic spells lose their effects. Your awareness is one of the most powerful spiritual powers that you have. Learn how to use it wisely, and the dark magicians will not be able to control you. To learn how to use power of your awareness wisely, you need to learn the right knowledge. With the right knowledge, you can increase and strengthen your awareness. Since you now know how magic affects you, next time you make a wish using words or yell at someone using curse words, you may want to think twice before saying those words. Like they say, be careful what you wish for. This article was written by Pao Chang and you can visit his website at energyfanatics.com.